Okay, hi. Welcome aboard the Excellence. I'm Peter, Captain Peter Derry. All right, this boat is beautiful. Let's take a look. Okay, she's a 153-foot fed ship. It's been built by a very discerning yacht owner and now currently owned by a very discerning yacht owner. And what is the price? Uh, the asking price on board is $16.9 million. It's a rather unique boat. It's a rather shallow draft for a fed ship. It only has a six-foot draft. And it's also rather fast for a fed ship in that our top speed is 33 knots. It was originally built by a very famous owner of a racing car team. And uh, so the boat has two rather big diesels and a gas turbine. Very fast for a large boat like this. Welcome aboard. Thank you. main salon. Oh, here I see this. Uh, speaking of the racing, I like that armwork. Yeah, you'll notice there's right. several race car paraphernalia and yeah. memorabilia around the boat. If you don't realize what you're looking at, that's the person's head right here and their hands on the wheel. We're looking at a side view of a Formula Racing. Formula One Racing, yes. And you'll notice when we get up to the Skylines, there's more Formula One memorabilia. Can you say who the racer is? Well, it was, uh, the boat was originally built for Roger Penske. Oh, wow, okay. Penske Motorsports. All right. <laughs> Model is actually our boss's other boat. The other one has a pull. Do you have to drain those pulls each time when you're traveling, or usually, usually, right? But now, does it store the water somewhere inside, or you have to just dump it out for that? You can do both. Okay. Now, what is this? I'm seeing like big doors over here. Or that's uh, China storage. Okay, so the storage, the China storage on that side, and the same on this side. Yes. Okay. Once, once China, once Crystal. Let's go forward to the master. Okay. So the so this is also leading up above to the Sky Lounge and then down to the lower gust accommodations. But let's start in the master. Okay. Let me ask you, is On this our way into the master is the J head. Now I had somebody ask recently. They said, why is it that bay heads are always right next to the master? And you know, it's I don't. It's just a layout configuration yeah. that makes it easier. So there you heard it now, now you know. <laughs> Practicality. Yeah. And this is the master stateroom. Full beam master here on board the Excellence. It's really nice, there's like a high gloss that kind of gives an illusion when you're walking by. Over here. And I'm assuming the head is around here, yeah. I like this when they go across the beam. The, okay, this one, yeah, it does go across. Okay, with the shower in the center, I like that. And let's take a look in here. Right. Air conditioning throughout, nice. And then we have the shower right in the middle, which is gonna connect the his and hers. This is a big, beautiful shower with the his and hers uh, shower head. Oh, and a bathtub as well on this side. It's very interesting the way that's been placed. And I think it's just going to be a mirror image of what we saw on the other side. Yes. Okay. And let's continue moving on. Coming back out into the master. And then, um, as far as like a walk-in closet, where would that be? Um, that around this side. Yeah, no, there's a big, uh, okay. Okay, so plenty of storage over oh, here. Yeah. Okay.
Should I go down or up first? Why don't we go down? Okay. See the rest of the guest accommodations. Oh, wait a second, look at that. This is, okay, it's not gonna pick up on video, but that's a hologram, so that actually looks like his face is coming out. Pretty cool. Oh. Okay, so standing here, we have access to one. Two and there's two three. staterooms that are mirror images of each other. Okay, I'll just show one of them. And then the VIP. Okay, got a shower in here. Sink in. Oh, okay, the head is in this side with a window right there. And this is a mirror image of the other side. So the other side being right here. It's kind of just a tip in like that. So the same exact setup as far as the restroom, the head. And then this is the VIP. VIP is there, huh? Which is again full name. Genie Maddox painting. This is our Sky Lounge, and as I said, there's more Formula One memorabilia here. There's a large screen TV behind that wall as well. Let me see the wheelhouse real quick while we're here. Yeah. I like the flooring. Beautiful. So this is your section. <laughs> Here's my office. Yeah. Room with the view. Beautiful. As I said earlier, this boat is very unique in that uh, it's very high horsepower. So we have two big diesels, and then the center engine is a gas turbine, which pushes a water jet. So the boat tops out at around 33 knots, which is rather unique for a boat of this size. When you say a water jet, I mean, are there traditional propellers as well? There's two traditional propellers on the, on the big diesel engines, and then the center engine has a water jet. Now let me ask you, if let's say you were in shallow water, are you able to lift up the other engines and operate solely on the jet? No. Okay. No, but this boat, as I said, only has a six foot draft. That is amazing. So it makes cruising the Bahamas and other shallow draft areas very accessible. Yeah, I was asking because I remember I had seen the, um, what's it called, the Thunder? I believe it's an ocean right. fast, and that yeah. one is just the jets, and they were seeing how it could operate right. in very shallow water. But this is pretty much the same thing. I think it was about Absolutely. six feet on that. So yeah. it's very interesting. I think she draws actually a little bit more than we do. Oh, wow, okay. So with propellers, you can still design a boat that can operate in yes. that shallow water. That's really interesting. Yeah, our propellers are in tunnels a little bit. It has what they call uh, AIS, so I can chart the closest point of approach and times the closest point of approach in the course and speed of other vessels out there. And then when you're docking, do you have controls also on the outside? Yes, there's wing stations on either side. Okay. For the vessel that have great view. So I can oh, see. Oh, this is it right here in this box, right? Yes. Okay. Inside that box there, and I can see all the way to the corner. Oh, that's easily. great. So just walk right out there. Yeah. 
And the same thing on this side. Same thing on both sides. And then there's a fourth helm station up on the flybridge. Okay. Captain's oh, cabin. Wow. So this is your place. This is nice. Wait, it's located right there. This is great layout. Again, another day ahead. Okay. This bell is actually from the one of the owner's previous vessels, the second fed ship that he built. big professional galley oh this has everything in it this this is awesome I like a uh, deep fryer I like this galley Okay, and then we've got something going down here. I'm assuming cruise quarters down there. So if you go straight across, 
We have laundry facilities with extra refrigeration. Okay, so this is where the, oh wow, a lot of four. Okay, so laundry, more, more refrigeration, that's nice. And over here. Okay. Nice big crew mess. Oh yeah. And then there's screen. three staterooms forward for the crew. They're all kind of the same size, correct? Correct. Okay, you get the idea. And then how many uh, heads do they have? So each cabin has its own head. And if you needed to access the engine room from within, can you do that? Uh, we can access it from the main deck and from the aft cockpit. Here's my hand next to it. <laughs> Let's see. And then what do we have over here? Oh, okay, storage. Life jackets. These are the generators. I like how they're behind that glass as you can see and then access to them is right here via this door. Uh, these are the first two of the MTU 4000 series 16 cylinder engines. They're approximately 3700 horsepower apiece. Uh, and then in the center we have a 5600 horsepower gas turbine that pushes a water jet. So these are MTU 4000 series engines. They're actually serial numbers one and two. But this is the gas turbine. I want to thank you for the excellent tour. Our pleasure, enjoy the shop. So I hope you enjoyed that tour aboard the Excellence. Let me know by giving the video a like, and of course, if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell so you're kept up to date of other video uploads on this channel. Thank you and I'll see you soon.